welcome back to my channel. If you are struggling to make your house smell amazing, then stay tuned because this video is for you. So welcome back guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've never seen me before, I am Christy Nicole and this is my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make your house smell amazing. One of my favorite things to talk about, so let's get into it. Guys, number one is probably the obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyway, is clean up. Like if you just take the time to really do a thorough cleaning, not straighten up by meaning putting things away, but like a, do a deep clean of your house, like clean your cabinets, shampoo the carpet, wipe down your walls. All that makes such a huge difference in the fragrance of your home. So that is the number one thing to do. So we'll get that out of the way first. It's just clean up. And if you don't feel like doing it, hire somebody. I mean, there's people who would love to do it. Um, I personally don't mind cleaning, but my deep cleaning is time for that. I'd rather hire someone to do it too, because so I feel you on that. But anyways, clean up. That's the number one tip. Number two, guys, probably gonna seem obvious to you, but when you're cooking, and if you're cooking like poultry, like chicken, chicken breast, chicken wings, those little packs that they come in, they stink after about a day in the garbage can. I don't know if you ever left out, like you threw it in the trash, kind of forgot about it, whatever. The trash can wasn't full, you didn't want to take it out. And then like a day or two later, you regretted it because you came home and you were like, oh, what is that smell? Yeah, I learned, I just, wrap that puppy up in like a target bag or something and take it outside immediately and it really makes a difference so those food items guys don't leave them in the trash can in the house take them out immediately that's tip number two is chicken like get rid of it while we're speaking of chicken this is going to call this bonus tip because it's not on my list but let me just throw this out here I don't know if you're like me. If you are, leave me a comment in the comment section. But I do not allow frying of foods in my house, period. Um, now we do have a garage, so if somebody wants to come over and like fried chicken or fry fish, we do it outside. You're not frying chicken in here because, like I said, leave me a comment in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. Frying chicken like lingers forever. I don't know what it is, but like, so no frying chicken, no frying fish, no frying any of that in the house. It's just not gonna happen. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section if you can relate to that. Do you make your husband go outside to fry his chicken or fish? Let me know. I do know people personally that have that rule as well. So I know I'm not the only one, but I'm not the only one here so let me know guys another tip guys um to make your house smell amazing is believe it or not um cleaning out your garbage disposal making sure there's no food in there i know i'm on this cleaning tangent but it really does make a difference um just clean out the garbage um disposal little baking soda a little vinegar makes a big difference another tip guys is once you've done all of that, once you've cleaned the house, um, pick up some scented candles. Um, they are amazing, probably the fastest way to um, instantly pick up the smell in your home. But I will say this, if you have not taken the other steps first, you're just kind of mixing that smell with the funk. So clean up first, and then burn your candles. Um, I know it's crazy for me to feel that way, but that's just the way I feel. Um, clean up first, and then it's it, you light your candles. You smell them so much better with the clean house. Scented candles are my favorite, um, but do you prefer a really powerful, powerful smell, or do you kind of like the subtle ones too? Um, I go through phases, but if I had a choice, I like the ones that are more subtle. 
Um, so let me know what's your favorite type of candle. Do you like it really strong or really soft? That's another tip, um, guys. Fragranced candles, scented candles. Get your favorite ones. Light them up, light them up, light them up. Tip number, I don't know what number we're on, so we're gonna skip, skip the numbering and go right into, from the scented candles, my next favorite or probably in a tie with the candles, an essential oil diffuser. Oh my gosh, like, those have become my new favorite, actually. Um, I don't have to worry about it burning, you know, I don't want to say burning down the house, but you know, you can plug those up while you sleep and you don't have to worry. Um, so essential oil diffusers are amazing. They're so readily available. They're everywhere now. You can buy them on Amazon. You can find them in Target. You can find them um, in Walmart. You can find them everywhere. So I would say an essential oil diffuser is great. Here's why. Essential oils, they don't sit on top of the air like a fragrance. They actually infuse the air intentionally because they're supposed to create um, some type of feeling for your body, whether it be uplifting, um, to help you sleep, to help calm you down. Peppermint oil even helps with headaches. So make sure you're getting 100% essential oils when you are using your diffusers. So. I think we're getting to the end, guys. So we talked about the diffusers, the candles, the cleaning up of different spaces. And then my last and final tip, guys, probably with the spring coming up, this will be like something you can do right away. And that is open up all the windows in your house. And if you can, open your doors and just let the fresh air in. It is like a renewing, it cleanses the space, oh, it's nothing like fresh air. And you don't have to do it like all day. Like you can literally on a nice, to me on a cool day it's better, but if you can open your windows and let, and on a windy day and let the breeze just kind of come in, oh, it just really cleanses everything. So that is the final tip guys, you just open up those windows and let some fresh air in. I I hope those tips help. What was your favorite tip? And give me some tips down below if you have any. I'd love to know how do you already make your house smell? Amazing. It's one of my favorite topics, obviously, because it hypes me up. I just love it. I love when people come in and they're like, your house smells so good. And it's like, yes, girl, thank you. Um, if I do keep try to keep a clean house, it's, it's kind of like, not an obsession, but I do like a clean house. And I love to hear people say, it smells so nice in here. So a combination of the cleaning products, the candles, the diffusers, all of that. My recommendation, don't do all of it at once because it can be a little overpowering. So if you're using cleaning products, try to get your candles in the same fragrance family as well as like anything else um so yeah but anyways i hope that video helped you guys in some kind of way if it did please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up comment like it subscribe all that good stuff and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know each and every time i post a video thank you so much for tuning in and until next time i'll see you later